What are your big predictions right now with the industrial design manufacturing world? Yeah, yeah, no. I think what you're going to see is a explosion as far as almost these micro teams that are able to achieve these, right? You're already starting to see smaller studios be able to output a lot more. So when less people can output more things, you're going to see just, I think, not less people, but more so microcosms of creative groups of people being able to do this, right? Like now a sixth grader or a high schooler can do what normally would have taken hundreds of people, similar to what happened with programming. You know, programming used to be just this thing that very specialized people could do, but now things like Cursor or uh, these kind of AI assistants, you see eight-year-olds building applications in video games and Roblox and things like that. So I think now we're just gonna see that in the physical world. I think the last 10, 20, 30 years have been more so in the worlds of bits, but now the next generation is in the world of atoms, the physical world. We haven't really seen a lot of innovation there just yet. Mm. Um, so I think that bridge between digital and physical is where we're going to see a lot of huge advancements and kind of changing the perception of what it means to be a designer. Wow. Yeah. And for people interested in getting into design yeah. and maybe they're going to school for it, maybe they're doing a career change. If you can go back in time and you're like 18 years old, about to go into, into to art school, design school, mm -hmm. what would you tell that person right now with all this change? Like mm -hmm. what skills do you need to get? What experience do you need? Like what expertise should you really focus on? Yeah. No, I, I would almost, so I would, that's a great question. And I would almost reframe it in the sense of like, what's not going to change, right? Because that's almost more important than what's going to change, especially in art and design. Tools always change. The way people do things always change. But there's always these core fundamentals that don't. For example, taste. Having good taste is relevant in any context. Or understanding these basic things like proportion or the fundamentals, right? These things, I think, are what's always going to be relevant. So... I would really tell this 18 year old or myself back then just to kind of really double down on these things that you know aren't going to change because whatever context you're in is almost irrelevant. That's why I was able to be a car designer and then go work at NVIDIA, but they make very different products. Mm -hmm. And it's because some of these like fundamental design characteristics were relevant in both spaces. So I think that's the kind of uh, knowledge I would pass on to the, the younger generation or the, or the past, I would say, yeah.